hello friends we will see the directory structure of packages now as you know when we declare some class under package that package becomes a name of the part of the class like we we refer that class using fully qualified name and the other thing is if i compile the source code for that class then it is compiled with hyphen d option and after that dot class file is created which resides into the same directory structure which is indicated by the package for example you can consider this example where we have one package vehicle and the name of the class is car so the file name is car.java if i compile this file first thing is i need to put this file in some directory directory structure where one subdirectory vehicle is there and inside that car.java is there after that i will compile the file with hyphen d option it will create car.class file and that will be also in the similar directory structure some path will be there under that vehicle directory will be there under that car.class will be there generally company uses their internet domain name for their package name so if the company name is say apple.com then the package used by that company will be com.apple now you can consider this example there are two classes one is dell class other is ups class both are declared under package com.apple.computers now if i want to compile these class files i will compile them with hyphen d option the syntax will be java c hyphen d dot name of the class file it will create dot class files the dot class files created will be del dot class and ups dot class respectively and those files will fall into the directory structure com apple computers and inside that dot class file if i want to import these classes to some other package then i will make use of import statement i will say import com dot apple dot computers dot star it will import both the classes if i want to import single class instead of this dot star i will write that class name now here you need to remember that both the files dot java file and dot class file reside into the similar directory structure as that of class package name but the path should not be same the absolute path the absolute path should not be same the initial path may vary from the package name the directory structure will be same but the absolute path need not be the same so this was regarding directory structure while creating the packages